Pro tip, got 12 inches out of your excursion. Has a better departure angle. More fun to slam these into trees as you go down the trail. Welcome to Geese 4x4, I'm Bryce. And I built the Bob Excursion. And today we are gonna talk about how it did in Moab. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys all the things that worked well and uh, some things that really didn't work well uh, that we are gonna need to address. So uh, I'm kind of gonna do this as a one take type thing. Uh, it'll be entertaining because uh, all the construction workers are like around and and they just keep like turning around and, and watching me and stuff. So, uh, you know just doing things uh, uh so anyway let's start at the beginning of this truck something that worked awesome the step and the rock sliders and the boat sides whatever you want to call it this monster right here uh this is great this we never hit it it was up out of the way uh and it is an awesome step you just hop up in there and you're in the truck so pretty great okay well i told you i wasn't going to edit this and then i looked back through my notes because i knew i was going to forget things and uh Guess what I forgot? The steering. The steering sucks. Uh, with 40s on it and they're aired down, you cannot turn them. Uh, this is no fault of the coil springs. This is no fault of the steering box. When they're aired up on the road, uh, you can drive just fine. When they are aired down, you cannot turn. So uh, PSC is needed big time. Here's, uh, here's another thing that worked really well that I just thought of. These little old man uh, rain guards. They work really well on the trail for when your buddies uh, decide to go have fun in the mud and they spray it all over your truck. Uh, yeah, anyway, we're still friends, don't worry. But uh, but uh, these worked really well for keeping the mud out of the inside of the truck. You know what also really, really sucked off-road? That was very disappointing. Front suspension. I did a lot of work to make that front suspension go on there and it sucked off-road. Uh, the reason being the stock control arms do not allow this front axle to flex at all. I'm still set up. I can upgrade the control arms really easily. The PMF mounts and everything, awesome. These Monroe shocks were excellent. I have no complaints. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just, I need new control arms. If you're not gonna wheel it, that suspension is awesome. Uh, but if you're going to wheel it, it sucks. Oh, hey, me again, the guy that said he wasn't gonna edit a video. Uh, another thing that worked really well that I wasn't expecting to work really well. The V10 works really well in an excursion <laughs> and it works really well in an off-road rig. Uh, having the Magnaflow on it with the center dump and uh, that that thing sounds absolutely epic on the trail. I cannot wait uh, when we get some sound clips of this thing driving down the trail, you guys will get to hear them in videos. Uh, it is rad. <laughs> They got like 12 and a half, 13 miles per gallon going down and like 13 and a half all the way back. Uh, small tires, I'm sure. I, I don't have, I have no intention, I have no plans of getting that that good a mileage with the 40s on it. Um, but uh, yeah, very impressed with the old little, uh, little V10. So anyway, now back to the video that's unedited. I don't know. You know what else really sucked? The front bumper. If you look really close, you can see that we bent the whole bumper down like that we bent the whole all these mounts and everything uh it just it just stuck out a little bit too far and a little too weak on the front uh so anyway the cutting and everything worked really well but the bumper sucked it's time to build a bumper Something on the interior that really sucked, and if you're an excursion guy, you already can see it, maybe. Uh, there's handles that go here from the factory, and I took them out to take the headliner down, and I didn't put them back. And then I put the truck on 40-inch tires and cut off 5 inches and put raised the step and stuff. Yeah, passengers really weren't happy with me. So, uh, I need to put handles back in it. That sucked, not having them. You know what else works super well on the trail? Cutting 12 inches out of the back overhang. Wow, what a difference. There was no tail dragging. We hit the uh, the leaf springs one time. That's it. That is that's it. Uh, so yeah, pretty epic. Uh, pro tip: got 12 inches out of your excursion. Has a better departure angle. You will also notice uh, the wrap worked awesome for looking cool. Um, running through trees, which is what the excursion is going to do a lot of, 
didn't break it, uh, but scratched the heck out of the wrap. Uh, so the window worked great. The wrap, I need to figure out if we're just going to run it with scratches, uh, which we might just end up doing and knowing that it's going to get scratched, or if the uh, printer and I can figure out how to do this on black or something. I don't know. I don't really know enough about this, um, but uh, I like it, and it's not that hard to change, and uh, it will be fine. We'll figure it out. Another thing that really didn't work, uh, I didn't cut enough out of this fender. Uh, I ended up bending this fender, uh, and then I bent this up pretty bad. I need to get more happy with the, the cutting wheel. That's fine. I like cutting wheels. We'll be fine. More stuff to cut off. It also really sucked to not have interior lights in the back. So I gotta figure that out. Uh, when I tried to do anything in here at night, I was using my work light that I brought and just sticking it magnetic all over the place, which is nice, but uh, interior lights are gonna be a must. The other thing that worked awesome, this amazing PRP seat. Uh, holy smokes, it is so good. Uh, I thought the truck rode awesome, and then uh, my friends Grace and Camo got in here, and we went wheeling, and they were like, I don't think it rides quite as good as you think. And I was like, what do you mean? And they're like, I think it's because you're sitting in this seat. And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting in the most comfortable seat ever. So, anyway, get yourself a PRP seat. You know what else really sucked off-road? Yeah, that's right. The Dumbo ears. Guys, uh, they look cool. And, man, I don't know that I will ever switch this truck to paddle mirrors. But uh, it's the right way to go if you're going to wheel it. It's more fun to slam these into trees as you go down the trail you know what worked out really good this rear suspension setup the shackle flip and the stock 215,000 mile excursion springs minus a bunch of leafs uh these things flex like crazy i love them and uh the rear suspension is really not going to get touched i'm super stoked and uh yeah rear suspension big thumbs up You know what else worked really well? These 40 inch Milestar tires that uh, Off Pavement gave to me. They are absolutely awesome. Huge shout out to Off Pavement and uh, also my buddy RC3 Jeep for bringing me a spare. Uh, pretty amazing to have amazing friends. So thank you guys so much for making this trip. You know what also didn't suck? You see that thing right there? It looks like a brake controller. Well, that's a small little radio that uh, Grace and Camo gave me, and uh, we pulled it out of Southern Grace LJ, and we put it in the truck the last minute, and, uh, you know, that radio's probably going to stay in here. That thing works absolutely fantastically. Thank you, Grace and Camo. If you want to see some footage of the truck on the trail, go follow Grace and Camo Adventures. I'm going to hit a link right up there for you. You know what also didn't suck? I went to the Metal Cloak CTI trailer. I don't know if you've met Corey yet. But Metal Cloak uh, drives around with this trailer that they texture flex. And uh, this truck, this truck scored higher than the LJ did the first time I had the LJ on the trailer. This truck scored a solid 670. Uh, and 16 inches of travel with the rear tire and 17 and a half inches of travel on the front. So not too shabby for a uh, little excursion. You know what else worked really good? There's two things under here while I'm sitting nicely. This Magnaflow exhaust sounds absolutely awesome. And uh, super glad that I did that. The other thing is this big black shaft right here. Tom Woods hooked me up a uh, quick turnaround. Super awesome and uh, super beefy setup. So thanks to Magnaflow and Tom Woods for some epic products. Oh, hey, there's one more thing under here that worked really well. Yeah, I put rock lights where the step lights into the step light plug, uh, and this thing looks awesome at night. Well, I thought I was going to go un unedited, but I thought that turned out better edited. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really, 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 really appreciate it. It was so much fun to get this in some of your eyes and hear some reactions and hear what people had to say. So I very, very much appreciate it. And I look forward to the next event when this truck gets even better. So stay tuned. Uh, if you really are enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you're not enjoying that content, then I don't know, subscribe anyway, so you can hate on it in the comments. 
See you next time.